children's book author Suzanne Gervais has been writing stories for decades. If you look there, there's the tree of life. But getting pen to paper or typing them up can be painful. With this sort of arthritis, sometimes it comes, sometimes it goes. Suzanne was first diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, an autoimmune disorder, when she was 19 years old. She can experience pain in her hands, feet and knees. But despite the agony, it hasn't stopped her. It's difficult living with it in that sometimes it hits you and what are you supposed to do? For example, I went to Hungary to write my last book. And of course, in the middle of my trip, I couldn't walk. While arthritis covers 100 conditions, rheumatoid arthritis, what Suzanne has, and more commonly osteoarthritis, where cartilage deteriorates over joints, are the most common forms. Advocacy group Arthritis Australia says frequently sufferers complain about the high out-of-pocket costs for treatments. That could be in part why so many people are delaying care. I think one of the biggest things that has shocked us is that 17% of Australians basically get to the point where they can't move before seeking help from a medical profession. In a recent survey, Osteopathy Australia found nearly one in five adults thought medication was their only solution. If we can break the pain cycle early, it has much better outcomes for rehabilitation and for recovery. So we can implement changes, we can give lifestyle advices, uh, put them on the right treatment program. According to the most recent data, nearly two million Australians have been diagnosed with arthritis. But the number of people living with it is more likely to be one in seven. In society, it's a bit of that, oh, just, just get on with it kind of vibe sometimes. But what's really important is making sure that you get the right diagnosis, because there are some types of arthritis that if you don't get uh, the right medical care, you can actually end up with joint deformity and it can also impact other um, systems within your body, such as your heart or your lungs. While the barriers to support don't impact Suzanne, she has this piece of advice. Make sure you keep your career. Do not let arthritis determine who you are and make sure that you manage the arthritis.